What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey guys, I wanted to show you my latest LEGO haul. Now, if you guys know me, you know I love doing haul videos, and there is so much cool stuff here. So, all of this popped up from one guy on Facebook Marketplace. He had even more than this, including Indiana Jones, but I already have all of that. So, anyways, all of these sets were pretty much complete. I uh, Some of them were missing pieces, but he's going to send them to me, and so on and so forth. So, be careful when you're buying stuff online. You just never know. But, I got everything you're going to see here for $400, and there's stuff you can't even see just because of the way it's staged, but I thought that would be a fun way to do today's video. So up first, we have some XO4 sets right up front here. We have 7711, the Sentry. I just always thought XO Force was a really cool theme and uh, really amazing stuff. I'm not necessarily going to break these down price by price of what I paid for them because, you know, like I said, I just paid 400 for everything. So uh, that being said, that was the price that the guy asked for. Uh, he had very fair prices. Like, for example, I think this one was only $8. Now, you'll hear there's nothing in the boxes because I've actually built them and I'm planning to review everything. Um, but, you know, anyways, uh, it's just easier to show the boxes rather than the sets right now. Here we've got the Rebel Scout Speeder and the accompanying set, the Imperial Dropship. These came out in 2007 for the uh, 30th anniversary of Star Wars, which was really cool. And, uh, you know, you could see they're like the original battle packs, if you will. They're going at it and uh, really, really cool sets. Always some of my favorite battle packs even to this day. Here we have some agents, uh, the very first wave of agents, that is. This was the Jetpack Pursuit with only 88 pieces, but a really cool little set. In fact, this is the only one I haven't actually built yet, so I gotta get that one built up. We've got some more battle packs here from the 30th anniversary wave. Uh, these are from 2007 as well. I guess I'll hold them these this way so it looks like they're battling. Don't you love how the box art lines up too? How like the laser beams go across? I love that. But the clone troopers and the droids, really, really awesome sets. Always, always love those. So let's see. Now we're starting to get into the bigger stuff. Here we have the rare Clone Scout Walker from 2005, Revenge of the Sith. Really, really cool uh, set. I always loved this era of box art as well. I had this as a kid. It's really awesome to get it back now today. Here we have some more Exo Force with the 770 Stealth Hunter. Really, really cool one with uh, Hi Hikaru and just a really, really cool one. This was my first Exo Force set all the way back in the day. Look how that box opens up. It was kind of anime themed. Really, really awesome. Here we have the Gate Assault from Exo Force in our last Exo Force set of this haul. Uh, really, really cool. The box does not open on this one, but it's still a really, really great set. And uh, it was a lot of fun to rebuild this, a lot of nostalgia. Now we're getting into the really good stuff. We've got the ARC-170 Starfighter from Revenge of the Sith. Love that box art. Love this set. Amazing set. And uh, gotta love those alternative builds they used to show on the back. Now you can see what the big one is back there. Pretty amazing. But before we get to that, we've got Agents Mission Number 3, the Gold Hunt. Neat set. I think he had like $15 on this. So, you know, pretty amazing. But this was the big Mac Daddy of them all. This one was $180 for what you see here. Uh, the box was really beat to shreds. I basically had to uh, reassemble it myself. But... Uh, the set was mostly complete. It was missing Luke. It was missing Leia in a couple pieces. But again, he was really good. He found the extra pieces. He's going to ship them to me. And I already had this set as a kid. So I already had Leia, already had Luke. So I can just plug them in. But I paid $180 for this one. Definitely a rare set. But even still, $180 is still a great, great deal for this. And it just goes to show, I think 2006, which was the year this came out, was one of the best years ever for LEGO Star Wars. One of the best slave ones to date. Uh, you got the TIE Interceptor, A-Wing, B-Wing, the uh, Imperial Star Destroyer, and then, of course, this set here, Jabba's Sail Barge. So, just an amazing year for LEGO Star Wars and an amazing year for LEGO in general. But drop a comment below, let me know what you think of today's haul, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Well, you've made it to the end of the video. You should hit like and subscribe down below for more LEGO content from me because I post just about every single day. You'll be up to date on all the latest in LEGO, so why not join my community and hit subscribe now.